So the weather's not the best today, but I can't pass up the opportunity to show you this new Elite Series. And I've got a lot of viewers and customers that are always searching for a really impressive outdoor kitchen with a bigger TV, as well as a very impressive inside kitchen. If you're new here, we do welcome you to the channel, and let's get started. So one of my biggest requests is a rear entertainment fifth wheel with an impressive outdoor kitchen as well as a really really big tv but this thing has a lot more than that just to offer the kitchen on the inside is very very impressive this is a new 2023 forest river wildwood elite series model number 35 re and of course the re does stand for rear entertainment this model is going to be 96 inches wide, 42 feet, 9 inches of total length, with a drive weight of 12,240 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,205, and available cargo of 1,906. This model is going to be outfitted with two Whisper Quiet 15K air conditioners. It is leveled from a six-point electric leveling system. We are going to start on the inside first and then make our way out. That's just one of the features that the Elite Series offer is the hydraulic assist with the steps. So four total slides, three of which are found between the living and the kitchen. Solid surface countertops. Your microwave has been upgraded to a convection. No carpet anywhere through the RV is replaced with this new woven material. And I figured we start all the way in the back since this is a rear entertainment. Then we'll make our way closer to the front and then we'll go out. Let's go ahead and give you your view from the two theater seats. So you've got an electric fireplace that does produce right at 5,000 BTUs of heat. And you can kind of personalize your fireplace by changing maybe some of the colors on the rocks and the flames. Pretty good place maybe for some storage. You've got a sound bar by Furion with an inside and outside zone. So zone one and two and another smart TV on the inside. That's nice to see that they are outfitting these things with smart TVs now. We're going to turn this off. But speaking of heat, let me sit back down and point this out. So one thing that I like about the Elite Series is it keeps things nice and clean with one, no carpet, and two, the fact that there's no floor vents here in your main area. Cabinet heat coming from the 35,000 BTU, there's the third vent, furnace, which is coming from, of course, the propane. Your air conditioners, again, are two 15K. The brand is Coleman Mach. There's one of those. We'll try to turn them on here momentarily. Let's look at your sleeper sofa on the back. I'll try to place some pictures about here in the video of this opened up, but you will have room to maybe possibly recline in one of the theater seats. Some additional storage over the sleeper sofa as well so i'm 6'2 and this is my arm fully extended so if you are short you will possibly need a stepping stool to reach that the windows in the living area are trimmed out with a valance on both sides and they are gray and i do apologize for my shoes the weather here in mississippi has been absolutely terrible lots of rain if you notice the 12 volt and 110 outlets Lots and lots of rain for us here. It's been about a month since I've upload, uploaded a video for you guys. I do apologize. Things have been a little bit busy for me between, there we go, sales, uploading the web pictures to the website, and just trying to keep up with customers in general. But that's a good problem to have. So let's make our way to the middle. So this is an interesting setup for me. I kind of like this. So they removed your dining room table, but you have two kind of extensions into your kitchen giving you sitting for two plus two more over there i guess the downside is if you kind of want to sit close together like a family you can't do so but i love the countertops i love the separation between the cooking i feel like this will really 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 will flow nicely whenever you're maybe a bigger chef that's doing some cooking in the kitchen large windows there is some tent on the windows as well this is your view from the oven. Stainless steel undermount sink. 
Let's talk about some of your cabinetry on board. This is a glass accent and the hinges are upgraded to the slam resistant. And I'll show you some of the pullouts here. Pretty decent amount of storage. Let's swing around and go over your oven now. Furion brand, you got six total different pullouts. These pull out about 16 inches as well, ball bearing hinges. And let's look inside of your oven. Possibly room for a smaller rotisserie chicken or turkey, excuse me. I say rotisserie because I just finished eating one. Cooktop on the top is separate from the oven itself. Three different burners, quick spark, and this is your convection. 12 volt fridge, so freezer on the left, fridge is on the right, all the controls to adjust your temperature are gonna be here. Let's open this up and give you a view. So if any time during the video you like what you see or maybe even dislike something or you're kind of questioning what the manufacturer has done, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm curious to know your thoughts on your, and your feedback on this. Like example this, this is something that's extremely common and a lot of fifth wheels, but manufacturer says that's a wine rack, but the only thing you're gonna be putting in here is a bottle of water because it's metal, no protection at all. MSRP, date and time of making this video is 101083. You can always check pricing and availability at that website that is listed down in the description down below. Let's make our way over to the controls. Let's turn on the air conditioners. So this is as soon as you step inside of your RV, all the controls to operate your slides, your light switches, your heated holding tanks, your ceiling fan, your fantastic fan, which gives you ventilation over the oven right here. So light switches, water pump, water heater, water, excuse me, tank, he tank heaters, 12 volt tank heaters wrapped on all of your holding tanks, on again, on out. Let's get your air conditioners turned on. So let's turn the temperature down. And I'll try to give you a sound quality test while we're moving throughout the RV. Floating steps, that's a good place maybe to kick your shoes, maybe after a long day, keeps all the dirt and debris kind of located in one area. I like this, you got USB and 110 outlets on the pullouts right here at the foot of the bed. King size bed, you've got probably right at 20 inches of space. This is the only shelf that's provided with 110 outlets over here. No type of bookshelf or anything inside the slide or power options in anywhere in the slide. The guest, I was about to say the passenger, your guest will have a 110 outlet located under the bed here. Trimmed out, maybe for some additional blankets. I would have liked to have seen the shelf, honestly, personally, with some 110 and 12 volt outlets provided. Barreled ceiling, so once you're upstairs, your ceiling height is six foot five dead center, so it's closer to maybe six foot four when you come into the door. You could mount a television, maybe a 40 inch TV there. This is a laundry hamper. Good place maybe to sit down and take off your shoes. So you could outfit this with a stackable washer and dryer. We can provide those for you here at Camper Kingdom if you decide to do so. Let's open this the other way. And lastly, let's go over the bathroom before we head outside. Porcelain foot flush toilet. So that's another option for the Elite Series replacing the plastic foot flush toilet that's found on most Heritage Clean models. So something that I wish the manufacturer would just do, especially with the Elite name right now, the countertops in the bathroom I feel like should be the same as the countertops in the kitchen, discontinuous with the solid surface all the way through. Stainless steel bowl, that's nice. So your shower is a two-piece plastic shower. You've got right at probably a four inch step up to get in there. Ceiling height to get inside. Your bathroom dead center is six foot four, six foot five, so maybe six two. 
additional skylight headroom is provided though. So if you don't like to see anything on the outside, I appreciate it if you go ahead and drop me a couple of thumbs up or leave a comment down below telling us what you think. So coming in again at almost 43 feet in length, four total slides. I'd recommend pulling this thing because of its size with at least a one ton with dual wheels. I'm sure there are some three quarter tons in the market that can safely pull it, but it's extremely long. It is leveled from a six point automatic leveling system. You have landing legs in the middle, front and the back. And those controls are in the pass-through compartment here. So there's a lot going on to this area here, but let's start on this side. This is the leveling controls for the automatic leveling system. Your pass-through compartment. On this side is what I call the docking station. So this is where your water lines will come up through this little opening provided here. Connecting to your city water connection or maybe even the black tank flush depending on what you're doing at the moment. You also have two gray handles and a black inline filter. So your dimensions, I'm probably going to give you an estimated maybe four feet across by two and a half feet high. Here's your floor joist and it's also wrapped with the radiant foil. Your water heater is also going to be located over here. This is a 10 gallon gas or electric. That is your 50 amp power connection. So there is a cord that is provided, not this one. I have an extra, extra long one, but it will come with about, I think it's 36 foot cord. So sewer connections, you have two different ones, one back here, and then you have a gray handle here. So that's gonna be the only other handle besides the ones that are here. So rack and pinion slides on the back three and this one up here is a Swintec fully walkable roof, rear mounted ladder, a line side camera prep. And we're gonna make our way to this outdoor kitchen. And then I'm gonna show you something to turn all these lights on. I probably shouldn't show you, but it's a pretty cool little trick I was taught by one of our service technicians. So suburban griddle, this does hook to the propane tank up front, but it's connected underneath. Your material is a metal. And they've continued over those soft closed latches into the outdoor kitchen. Fully plumbed sink with an outdoor fridge. So with this camper being outfitted with a solar panel, that fridge inside will always stay cold. Guarantee you when you're in transportation or maybe if you just have it sitting inside outside of the yard and that switch is turned on. But anywho, this one here in transportation will not stay cold. So if maybe you are planning a very, very long trip, just think twice about leaving some drinks out here. So your television is a smart TV. And if you are maybe sitting on this side, you can retract it to one angle or even switch it back to this side here. Whenever you are going for transportation, for storage, we're gonna put it in the storage, here we go. So we're gonna flip it back around and tuck it inside. Camper's also outfitted with Goodyear Endurance tires. And the Elite Series has the step above steps with the hydraulic assist. But one thing I like about the steps, these are extremely easy to adjust just by simply pressing of this button here. I can't do it one handed, but this will move freely, which is a lot easier than the ones that have the pin where you have to find the other side with the, with the Carter pin. Friction hinge. And this is the other side of the pass-through compartment. Your baggage door is right at two inches thick, held up with magnets with a slam latch. But over here, there's a couple of things to point out. That is the smart char charger for the solar panel. That solar panel sends over a charge to the smart charger, which monitors the charge going to and from the battery. It keeps it from either overcharging or undercharging. This is your battery disconnect switch. And this is the light switch that controlled the docking lights up on the front. That other gray box was the built-in inverter. So before we go, I wanna show something that my RV tech showed us. 
you notice all the marker lights are on. So sometimes finding your camper in a new campground can be difficult. But one way to stand out to make your RV disappear better than everyone else, you notice the lights, is to come up to your seven pin connector. Get yourself a five amp fuse, nothing more. And then just bridge those two ports. And that will turn on all of the marker lights on the entire RV. You probably even noticed the tail lights that were on in the back. But I hope you guys like what you see. Leave us some thumbs up or even a comment telling us what you think about that really nice kitchen on the outside plus this really awesome outdoor kitchen. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.